today I will be doing struggles for small YouTubers because I know a small YouTubers have struggles. But before I even get into talking about the struggles that we all could probably relate to, I would love for you to like. I don't care if you comment. Just make sure you subscribe and turn on that post notification so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on both my Instagrams at shine.lemay and unique.boutique and shop uniqueboutique.com. But now that I gave you that information, we can go ahead and get into this video so i have my notebook again yeah pretty much and i have like at least like 10 struggles so when you make these videos you can make struggles that you have or whatever struggles you have other small youtubers like, would probably relate to the same exact struggles you have so these are my struggles and if you relate go ahead and put that in the comment section down below um well the first struggle that i have is staying consistent now before i'm gonna call this my consistent week because i've been posting all week it was very hard for me to be consistent and there's a few reasons on this list as to why so let's just go ahead and jump right into the second struggle but first let me explain to you y'all may have struggles being consistent but the best thing to do is keep going and don't give in because if you give in then you will never get to your breaking point where you actually want to be when it comes to your youtube channel if I'm making sense. So, the second struggle I have is making entertaining content. The reason why that is a struggle is because I don't have the equipment for that. Like, say, for instance, I want to do a reaction video. I don't have, like, a camera to record myself reacting to something off of a different device, if that makes sense. So, I know we all are going to need YouTube equipment eventually, but with us not having that equipment, it's going to make it hard for us small YouTubers to actually make entertaining content because as a small YouTuber, you only make what you can make especially if you don't have a lot of storage on your phone like me and entertaining content is so important to me because i want to get to that point one day one day i will but I, it's gonna take time so bear with me so. getting views okay yeah i know y'all can relate to this because getting views is a struggle i'm surprised that i'm getting as many views as i'm getting this week and before like it's videos that i had from like nine months ago or maybe a year ago and only two of them made it either to 100 or 200 views and those videos well one of them are very boring which my niece my oldest niece loves to watch that because it's a video in that description box of me singing from a different channel and she just liked to watch it so she could have something to laugh at it's not funny but it's funny yeah, getting views is very hard because with YouTube, in order to get monetized, not that that really matters. If you're doing it because you're a YouTuber and you love doing YouTube like me, getting views is very hard. And to get monetized, you need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. I only have like 53 subscribers and I don't really get a lot of views. That's based off the fact that I'm inconsistent, but not no more. Not no more. I'm done. Playing around. Getting subscribers. I just said something about getting subscribers. But yeah, getting subscribers is very hard. And I'm far away from 1,000. So hopefully I'll get there sooner than later. It depends on how consistent you are. Everything about your channel is based off of consistency. If you are not consistent, sis. You will not get anywhere anytime soon, okay? So if you want to grow your channel, baby, mm, be consistent. Because if you don't, then what is growth? Yeah, getting subscribers is very hard. Sometimes you get to the point where you're like, oh, sub for sub, you know, stuff like that. But you don't always have to do sub for sub. All you have to do is keep working hard, put in that hard work, sis. Put in that hard work and you will get somewhere. A struggle I have is uploading videos. Now, y'all should know why I struggle with uploading videos. Uploading videos is hard for me because storage on my iPhone is poor. So, me not having a lot of storage, sis. It's gonna make it extra hard for me to like, upload, but lately I've been like, I don't give a care. I only have 32 gigabytes, but like, like I was trying to say, lately I've been uploading on low quality because at this point I'm just like, I don't care. Like, I want to be consistent and I want to grow my channel. So, in order for me to do that, I'm gonna have to upload in poor quality until I reach the point where I could actually do high quality videos. Does that make sense? But yeah, uploading is very hard for me. The next struggle for me is coming up with video ideas. I can only do so much because, like I said, I don't have a lot of storage. And I also, I can't do nothing fun until I get my YouTube equipment. I already got a ring light. I just need a camera and a MacBook so I can edit and film freely without having to use my phone. And tr struggling with the storage situation, I'm so tired of it. So coming up with video ideas is very hard. People like to see fun stuff. They don't want to just see me sitting in one spot talking about a whole bunch of nothing. I'm coming up with these type of video ideas since I can only do sit down videos for right now. But later on in the future i will do some entertaining videos because i will have a camera and i will have a macbook to edit so subscribe now if you want to see that later 
A lot of my videos is very hard because you can have like following or I don't have a lot of following on my personal Instagram. On my business Instagram, I kind of got some type of following. I'm almost at 300 followers on my business Instagram. And I've been at 100 followers for the longest on my regular Instagram. But here's the thing. Though. Promoting is hard because like you could promote all you want. But the more you promote, it just gets tiring after a while when people don't even look into it at least. They don't even look into it. They don't even subscribe. Like, come on now. Subscribe to my channel. What are you doing? Like, don't just sit there and watch me promote and you not even trying to help. Like, what? What's wrong? You're not going to support me? I'm just playing. But for real, promoting is very, very hard to do. From my perspective, I don't know if that's a struggle for YouTube, but promoting is hard. But just because it's hard doesn't mean stop doing it. It just means keep working harder and harder to get there because the more hard work you put into it, the more results and the faster the results you will get, if that makes sense. I, I believe that makes sense. Third to last thing that's kind of a struggle for y'all, not really to me. The only thing that's a struggle about this struggle that is a little time consuming with my newer thumbnails it's a little time consuming, but it's okay. Ah, y'all, listen. Later on in the future, I will teach y'all how to make thumbnails. I just don't have the equipment to film and show y'all at the same time. Like, I have so many fire ideas that I can't do now because I don't have the YouTube equipment. So making thumbnails might be a struggle for y'all, okay? But if you want to see how to make it now, go ahead and look it up. But the, me being so creative and very talented, I can show you that. All you have to do is subscribe and just bear with me. Until okay, later. so my camera just cut off because I ran out of storage. But we're going to keep this going. On to the second to last struggle. Editing videos could be a struggle. Not for me. I know how to edit from the jump. But for y'all. Y'all might have struggles editing videos. I don't know if I would like to do a video like that later on. But I will be interested in doing it because like editing is also very time consuming based off how long your video is i know that my first video of this week which was video ideas i had 65 videos on that list and it took me hours to finish that and it never took me that long to edit a video i always been done within like an hour 30 minutes or two but editing could be hard for some of y'all because like you may not notice but you probably should the youtubers that y'all watch like the big youtubers they don't even edit their own videos they don't edit their own videos they get people to edit videos for them Okay, I can edit my own videos. I don't need nobody to edit videos for me. So I will be willing to teach her that later. It's gonna take time to wrap my head around it because it's gonna be like time consuming. But if you need help immediately, go ahead and look it up. It's people out here that's trying to help you. Just look up a how-to video, okay? And the last but not least is creating a convincing title. Now, that's kind of a struggle for me when I first started being serious about my channel and deleting my old videos. It could be a struggle for you too, but I never really put thought into the title. I would just title what the video is about. But you want to make like extravagant convincing titles because you want people to click on your video. You want them to click, 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 click. Okay? You don't want them to just be like, oh, I'm just scroll past. This video ain't gonna be about nothing. Let me just scroll past. No, you want them to click. Them to click like, by make a convincing title like, especially if your thumbnail popping. Yes. If you don't have like a popping thumbnail, try to make it pop. You know. But yeah, make a convincing title, hun. Okay, but yeah, that was a struggle for me in the beginning. Now I'm starting to get the hang of it. Like the more I do YouTube, the more I'm catching on to it. Okay. Hopefully this video wasn't boring, but before I end this video, I would love for you to like, I don't care if you comment, just make sure you subscribe and turn that post notification so that you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to follow me on both my Instagrams at shine.lene and unique.boutique. The links will be in the description box down below. Don't forget to shop Unique Boutique either. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but until the next video, I am gone. Damn, you know I hate the